All right, it's the final part. I checked, I did not get my two VR check today, which means I'll be getting it in May. Probably early May, maybe May 1st, May 2nd, May 3rd, I get the check. I get the, uh, the check. I should get it maybe next, in early May, I get the check. Sometimes it takes longer to get the check, so I get the check in May, the two VR check. I get it in May, but I get my offer check today, so, and I have smokes for myself, so I'm fine. I have smokes for myself, so I'm fine, and I have, and what? And, uh, yeah. I might be able to even make money tomorrow. I can offer to clean the car for a good, like, 11 bucks. That helps me out. I can use that to, use use part of that money to get my, uh, my beer. My smokes, so yeah, I say like, 10 bucks, yeah. That's my deal for Peter Jackson. Look, somebody else is alive. You know what I'm saying? Look, set my deal also. Ivan, you have yourself a deal. You know what I'm saying? You have yourself a deal, Ivan. You have yourself a deal, Ivan, yeah. Peter has to help me with the main calls, hotel party, red carpet event, IMS film cameras, go for the cameras, visual effects, equipment, obviously the costumes, armor, and weapons machines for the mask, what, the kitchen equipment, and the food. He has to help me sign up for groups of crewmen. Wetter workshop, mass designers, costume designers, and the extra casting crewmen. He has to help me sign all those guys. The train nutritionist we have to sign first year. Um, the psychologist, if we need one, we're going to have to hire a couple psychologists to sign those guys. See what I'm saying here? And then Peter has to help me co-write the script. He has to help with the concerts. He has to take his notes. Every day. After the concerts are done, he has to go to his hotel room and take notes. We got a motel and friend. It's gonna be hard at work for. It'll take them a good maybe hour to take the notes. You don't want to do a thing whereby you write the whole script, you write all three volumes, and Peter has to go over all three volumes and take it. That's very very stressful. Don't do that. You'll be completely stressed out. The best way to take the stress out of him is just have him work on it every day when he goes back to his hotel room. That way, that way, by the time the script is all done, all his notes are all written. And he, he did the stress. He, I took the stress off Peter. So I know what I'm doing. Last thing you want to do is I don't go over like a 400 page script for the three volumes. That's a lot of work and take notes. That's a lot of work, man. That's, that's dirty work, man. Don't, let him, don't make him do that. No. Take notes after, after, after work, after the concerts are done. You go home to his home. The first thing you got to do is take your notes first and you're free for the rest of the day. Eat your dinner and you're free for the rest of the day. You can see movie on theaters, have a, have, a, have a drink at the bar downstairs. You're free for the rest of the day, Peter. And you get weekends off. So during the weekend, you're more than welcome to to, to, to what? To, to go to an event, which you most likely will do. Go to the theaters, go to the bar. But it doesn't hurt during the weekends to constantly go over your notes and go over your the script a little bit, Peter. Go over some of the script, go over some of your notes. So you're, you're constantly refreshed and you're prepped. I'm going to do the same thing with VG in the weekends, too. Go over some of the script, go over some of the notes. Peter's notes, obviously. And once the script is done, I do that party with Peter and all them, that barbecue party in my yacht. Me and Vijay can now start practicing our lines every morning. We don't have to go to work in the morning anymore. We can start practicing our lines, obviously. And then in the afternoon, and after everyone needs lunch, I join Peter and all of them in, my, in the office in the morning. We go over the script two more times for potential rewrites for some scenes. See what I'm saying? The house gonna work. That's how it's gonna work, Sarah.
That's how it's going to work, obviously. Really, Ivan? Yes, that's how it's going to work. That's how it's going to work, Sarah. That's how it's going to work. I'm bummed out I didn't get my $2 check, man. I really wanted to go to the store and get smokes, and you know, I didn't get it. I didn't get it this month, man. So I'm getting it maybe in May, my $2 check. I get my Wolfer check today, so I'm happy. When I wake up, my check will be waiting for me on the table. You know what I'm saying? I see the white envelope. You know, I got my check, and I cash it. You know what I'm saying? I, ca I take a picture on my phone. Because nowadays, you can cash your phones by just taking it. You can cash your checks by just taking a picture. You don't even have to go to the bank anymore. You just cash your check by taking a picture. The money gets deposited to your bank, and they freeze. The bank freezes like five hundred twenty dollars of my money, and they allow me to spend two hundred dollars. For like, so I have to wait usually a good six days for my check to unfreeze, and one two hundred dollars is enough money for five days, six days, right? Yeah. Obviously, I also get my two hundred dollar check any day now. Next month, I get it early May, whatever it is. But now I have less money to spend because I got to save my money now. So I only, I only have 500 to spend for the month of May. But I also get my 750 because I get my two free dollar check. So no, 650 because I have to give my, about 650 because I have to give my stepfather $80. So yeah. Obviously. That's why I applied to those jobs, but they never got back to me, man. And those were jobs in Quebec too. They never got back to me. I'm bummed out because I don't want to work in Ottawa, man. Ottawa's far. I don't want to. I don't want to take like two buses just to get to work, man. It's annoying. When I worked at Corey's, it took me an hour to get to work, man. And one hour, man, an hour to get to work it was crazy, man. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, it was crazy. That's what Peter will help me with the first year. Then second year, early, Peter will be flown back to Vancouver. We'll get him a Toro. They're gonna help me sign the uh, Peter will help me sign the stars, the Hollywood actors. Twelve main stars. We fly in the major ones first, and the lesser of major ones the other days. Fly in the twelve, and you fly in the uh, the remaining major ones, the actor for serious, the actor for fool. And the pretty major ones like Morale, Lithius, and Behrman, who signed those guys second day, were along with the rest of the minor characters like Elizabeth, um, the actors for the Eagles, the actors for the Crows. By three days, oh, I would have signed all the actors. It would take me three days to sign all the stars. First day, you saw, you fly in the 12. The next day, you fly in the other 12. The following day, you fly in the remaining 12, whatever, remaining 10, whatever it is. You're looking at a good 30... 35 to 40 characters. About 35, 30 to 40 characters in the movie. I'll have a good 8 crow actors, 8 eagle actors. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You also have the actor for Mass, Bass, and Darius, and Ephesus. Yeah, by three days, I would have signed all the stars. Like, I don't know, 35 of the stars in my movie. Peter will help you sign all those guys. Because he's your executive producer. He's a boss in movie. Have him help you sign all the stars. For the movie, obviously. For the amazing Zane's movie. For the amazing Zane's movie, obviously. For the amazing Zane's movie. Sarah. Or I might get my $250 by mail today, maybe, perhaps. 
I might get sent the two fifty dollar by mail today. But chances are it's a direct deposit. It's not by mail, most likely. It's most likely direct deposit. The check I'm getting. Yeah, when I get my check, I'm going to be so happy. I have money and I can get my beer and smoke so I can get uh, my Subway. I might get 12 beers. I have six beers for my video and Rad Rad and six, six beers for later. Make a video at night and I have six beers for myself. I might do that. I can go to the store again and get a 20 pack of smokes. It's cheaper, obviously. Instead of a 25. Obviously. Yeah, I'm gonna get 12. I'm gonna get 12 beers, a pack of smokes, and some Subway. Then after that, later on in the night, I'll get, I'll get another 20 pack of smokes. And I'll have my six beers, save my six beers for my video at night. <laughs> At night time. That's what people will help me with, obviously. I'm saying. You're going to see all the behind the scenes of all this. Unheard of footage of behind the scenes. Of the behind the scenes. That's why the doc will have crazy buzz, man. Well, crazy will have buzz for that, man. Almost just as crazy as the movie, pretty much, yeah. He was like, I can't wait to watch this documentary. Uh, you know, I've like, you you have you have a doc who follow me around. Oh, I'm like, yeah, Peter. I've you're filming behind the scenes for this. Oh yeah, Peter. I'm filming behind. I can't wait to see this. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I saw your George Lucas documentary. That was fucking amazing. I can't wait to watch this documentary. Yeah, the world be going crazy for that George Lucas documentary, and going even crazier for the behind the scenes of Zanus. And you also, and, you, and of course, you have the movie itself, obviously. Crazy will I buzz man for the doc and movie is gonna be crazy man. Yeah. That's why me, VJ, and P are gonna have a blast because I'm the seventeen year old, because while we're working we have a camera crew following us around wherever we go, man. We we live in that fucking celeb life, yeah. I mean it's so cool having the doc crew following me around wherever I go, it's fucking cool. Yeah, in his hotel room, me and VJ at our condo, the seventeen at their house. The actors in their hometown, yeah, I'm gonna have them film the actors. The actors train. When the actors, when I do the ad shoots of doctors, and I film behind the scenes of all that, you know, say, okay, BJ, lean on Ivan, John Bay, get get closer. You know what I'm saying? They take they do this ad shoot. Holy shit, Ivan! The actors are fucking big ass movie stars. Yeah, man, we're featured. You know what I'm saying, yeah. And the behind the scenes of production. What goes on during production? See, see Peter directing, get a multiple directing. Yeah. We had an amazing documentary. I don't An amazing documentary. It must have been amazing, yeah, man. I'm sorry. And once you sign the stars, obviously, you need to show them what they're dealing with. Okay, this is what you're dealing with, guys. And I show them the concert art pictures of Aerotat and pieces and all that. Holy shit, they have goosebumps. Holy shit, that's freaky. Yeah, guys, and uh, me me and I have been we rented the best visual effects equipment for, for technology in Hollywood. And we're pouring 600 plus million dollars worth of visual effects, guys. We're like, holy shit, 600 million? Yeah, that's more, that's... That's more than my entire Lord of the Rings budget. Or almost the, the amount of money my whole Hobbit trilogy was made for, guys. And that's going towards visual effects alone. We're pouring on her money towards set building. We rented the best film IMAX cameras in the business. Best drones. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Hans Zimmer's composing the horrific music for the wolves. And bats. And we, we, we rented the best... Technology for designing prosthetic masks and costumes for the demonic wolves and bats. 
That's why, yeah, guys, this concert art picture that you see here, we're going to be designing the masks and the costumes based off these pictures. The horrific masks that, 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 you, that you're going to see, obviously, we're applying during production. We're applying $600 towards that. That's why we're looking at real demons. That's why when Peter directs and all stuff, he, he, might, he might be a bit disturbed by that mask. And Ivan, staring at these demonic creatures is pretty freaky, Ivan. But everyone will be fine. Peter and them will be fine, obviously, because there's a lot there's, there's a lot of people around them, obviously. But, like, directing demons is freaky shit, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm going to ask Peter, Peter, Ivan, you don't need to hire a psychologist. Are you sure, Peter, Ivan, hire one? You might need one, man. Yeah, you're looking at demons and devils. Yeah, man. Here's a guy. You guys are going to be legends, man. Fighting these horrific devil, demonic beings. You guys are going to be legends. You guys are going to be remembered legends. The world's going to fill for, for, for you and Ivan. You know what I'm saying? You guys are going to be legends, man. You're, you're going to be part of this amazing story, this amazing journey. The actors are all excited. Oh, my God. I can't wait for this fucking movie. Yeah. And this documentary behind the scenes. You guys are going to see what Erita looks like when you see the behind the scenes, obviously, of the, the documentary and the trailers. So I'm going to tell the post-production team, once you finish editing Volume 1 and release the first Volume 1 trailer, teaser and extended, once you're done editing Volume 1. Yeah, it'll take us a good four and a half months to edit each volume, okay? After you edit, after you edit, I'm not going to release the trailers while production takes place, no. I'll release the trailers during post-production. And you guys will see the first teaser and extended trailer for, uh, Release the teaser trailer, and then like three weeks later, release the extended trailer or something like that. The Bill Buzz for the World. And you guys will see the first trailer, and you see me in the trailer. Oh my god, I even know what I'm saying. You, know what I'm you see what? The, the extended, you see John Mayer, he talks to me, he's like, cousin. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I don't know. You, know what I'm you see me talking, everyone's like, oh my god, it's Ivan. You know I'm saying, he looks so fucking cool in that fucking trailer. John Boyega, oh my god, he looks badass, I'm saying, he's Ivan's cousin in the movie, yeah, he's a badass fighter, Nishi Mohan Sud, I'm saying, Don Cheeto, I just, oh boy, yeah, he looks like crazy for the buzz of saying it's Yaman. So Sarah? Yeah. Now once you show the stars, the pictures, obviously, the concert pictures, I'm going to have my team, okay, let the limo driver know, let the limo driver know to pick us up, obviously. Limo driver will be waiting for us. I'll have a good three limo drivers waiting for us on the property, obviously. Three limo drivers waiting for us on the property. Hence why second year, this. I'm going to tell the seven team, look, man, within the beginning of the second year, uh, for the first two days, you, you, your folks are going to have to drive you to work. Because you can't drive because, 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 because what? I'll have limo services take you home, obviously. They can't drive when they're drunk. Hence why you can't don't you don't want to have their folks come and pick them up at 12 o'clock in the morning. No, that's stressing for them. Just have a limo driver take them all home. Don't worry, guys. I'll have a limo driver take you guys all home. Because the seven team are gonna be drunk, obviously. They can't drive when they're drunk, obviously, right? They can't drive when they're drunk. The seventeen. They can't drive when they're drunk. The uh the uh the seventeen. They cannot drive when they're drunk. So Zara. And you take the stars, little driver pulls up, and they take me, VJ, and uh and uh Gabriel Tor Peter and all the stars. So me, VJ, Peter, and Motoro being one limo, that's four people. And then a good, I don't know, a good eight of the actors, seven of the actors will be with will be in our limo. And the 17, the rest are the rest are gonna be with the 17 in the other limo. Yeah, sorry guys, you can't come with me. You got you you guys will be with the other actors in, in, in the other limo, and I'll be with, with, with some of the stars in, in my in, in our limo. Have a big limo that can fit like a good 10, 10, 11 people in there. You need a good like two limo, two limo, two limo driver. That's enough. Two limo drivers to take all of us to to, to, to give them a good experience. To, to take all of us to the Boston, um, to the Boston Pizza. 
Now, I want the doctor you filming that takeout. Yeah, I want you filming the takeout of when I take out the, the first 12 stars. I want you filming. You don't have to film all the takeout. Just film that takeout. Film film, film the signings of, of, of the major characters. You can film the signings of, 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 of the first day and the second day. The minor characters, you don't have to film that. You can film the visual effects scene when I take the, when I sign the visual effects scene in the cinematography. You can film that. You don't have to film the rest of the crewmen. Sarah. Focus mainly on me, VJ, my seventeen, Peter, and all them, and the stars. Was a crewman, you don't have to film them. Only film them second year when they all the four groups of people prepping second year, you film all that, obviously. And the third year, they're all in Swiss and you film all that. All the crewmen are all full in Swiss and they film all the behind the scenes of third year. And they film a fourth year production, you see what Yeah, you take the stars out to Boston Pizza, they have good food there. And you eat at the restaurant for a good hour and a half, two hours. But once you get at the restaurant for an hour and a half, two hours, the limo driver will take uh, everyone to my condo. Okay, take 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 us to my condo. You know what I'm saying? The limo driver takes all of us to my condo. We do a party in the condo for like five and a half hours, from seven to twelve o'clock. And at twelve o'clock, you gotta leave. Hey yeah, guys, around eleven forty-five, I want you out of my condo. I got, I gotta go. I gotta go sleep. You know what I'm saying? I gotta go sleep. You know what I'm saying? Tomorrow morning, I gotta wake up and I gotta practice with my wife. My seven team has to work. Be go to be be at be in the office early in the morning. You get out of here. You know what I'm saying? I know I want to stay longer. Look, man, get out of here, man. Like I, 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 I you know what I'm saying? This condo was it was mainly built for just me and my wife to have a nice time together. Get out of my condo. Get out of here. You know what I'm saying? Leave. You know what I'm saying? Get out of here. And I'll have a private, the private jets fly you guys back home. And my secretaries will get in contact with your agents. They will let the, my head of production will send you guys the schedules of when you're going to, for the ad shoots, the commercials, and the interviews for my Sky Source film news section on my website. My, my secretary will let you go, your agents know, guys, okay? I'll see you guys in a bit. And after I sign the stars, I will not see them probably until like two months later. I won't see the actors. About two months later, they'll be flown into the, the first ad shoot. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm going to have to hire the typewriter guy. It's okay, you got, I want you to now make the, the casting announcement. I'm going to show the whole casting announcement on my website. The cast has been announced for Zanus. Write it all down and my web designer will code it. Since Sarah. The photographers have to get ready for the first ad shoot. The graphics artists have to get ready to edit the, the pictures. And I'm going to hire 12 interviews to interview the 12. I'm only going to interview the 12 main stars. That's good enough. Interview the 12 main stars, me, VJ, and Peter. That's good enough for the second year. Whereas first year, I'll have them interview me, the 17, Peter, Fran, Emil, Toro, and, and Barry Osborne. Second year, you interview the 12 stars, me, VJ, and Peter. That's good enough. And my secretaries will handle everything. They'll let your agents know. My air production to create the schedules. We'll send your agents all the schedules. That way the actors know when to come in, when they're going to be flown in for the ad shoots, the commercials, all that stuff. So I'm saying, my air production will send them the schedule when when, when they have to start training. Then my team's going to have to book a, a save the art gym while it's actually for the actors to train. Book a gym in London for John Baega, I just all over at Andy Circus. And then the ones who live in Los Angeles, book a save the art gym for them to work out there. Or you can fly John Baega. I just open them to, to, to Los Angeles and they work out with all the guys. They stay in a hotel, in a standard hotel for that one. For like six months, they stay in a hotel. It's easier to just, it's easier to just what? Have a what? Have a gym in London for John Mayaga, I just open Annie Circus. Book a nice gym for them to train there. And the ones who live in Los Angeles, they, they train in Los Angeles. And Avon Jojo, I'll have him join the other guys in Los Angeles. Because I want to work out with VG alone. So I'm saying. And me and Vijay will have okay book a gym in Vancouver for me and Vijay too, or I can just work out in my in 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 in, 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 in my condo. But chances are my con the, the the gym my condo is uh, my gym my condo will be a simple small gym. So I'm probably okay book a gym for me and Vijay too to work out too. Yeah, like book a gym just for me and her alone, and we work out there. So I'm saying. And the seven team are more than happy to join us if they want to work out themselves. Hey, if you guys want to work out, you're more than welcome to work out in this gym that you booked. With me and Vijay if you want. Which they most likely will sometimes. They'll work out with us sometimes. I'm Sarah. 
Yeah. And you do a party in your three hundred million dollar condo. You have cigars. Everyone has a good time. You put music on. The doctor is filming this, obviously. The doctor is filming. I want you filming the party, the, the, this party. You don't have to film all the parties, but I want you filming this party. When I when I sign the, the first twelve stars, the major stars, I want you filming a glimpse of this party. Glimpse of it. Film a glimpse of the party. You know what I'm saying? All right, now I want to get drunk too. Okay, fine. Film a good like hour and a half glimpses of the party, and you can party up with the rest of us. I'm sorry. Yeah. You get and that way the world sees what it's like for the actors to party up my theater in our condo. They got an amazing documentary. I mean, I'm like you. I'm like, I'm like you guys are lucky. You're you're. Are you ready to be a part of this journey with me, guys? We're ready, Ivan. Are you ready, Peter? I'm ready, Ivan. Are you ready, Walter? I'm ready. Are you ready, VJ? I'm ready, Ivan. Are you ready, Carl? When I was born for this, Ivan. You know what I'm saying? We're ready to fight alongside those demonic beings with you, Ivan. If you guys are ready, woman, are you ready to experience the horror of demonic creatures and be a part of this journey with me? We're ready, Ivan. All right, to the Zayn's family, to the Zayn's family, we have a toast. We have cigars and we have a good time at the party, obviously. And it's 12 o'clock, you guys have to leave. So Lejet will take you guys home. And while this takes happens, this will all be trending online. The party will even be trending. As the actors are gonna take reels and pictures of the party and post on their social media, and then that then their fans are gonna are gonna post more of those pictures and you're gonna see that trending too. <laughs> you see the actors all drunk with me and VJ in my condo. Trending videos, videos of me drunk with VJ and all of them trending, yeah. Or whenever we do the takeouts, the actors are gonna be trending. People are gonna take pictures and videos trending, yeah man. Holy shit, the fans are crazy. Yeah, and that's the beginning of the journey of the fame, obviously. Guys, this is just the beginning of your fame, man. Once 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 you get that casting announcement, the world will be going crazy. Once the world sees the, 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 doc, the doc trailers, the world will be going crazy. Guys, see that behind the documentary. The world will be tuning into the actors' social media. The actors will be trending wherever they go. Yeah. When the actors train in Los Angeles, they'll be trending. John Bay and all will be trending, will be trending in London or England, right? Me and will be trending in Vancouver. The 17th will be trending in Vancouver. Something crazy. So many trends. It's crazy. You know, Peter trending in Switzerland. When he's overseeing stuff, second year, he's trending too. Yeah, man, constant trends. So much trends, the crewmen are going to take make videos, and make videos too. Hey, I'm building a set. I'm working on this costume. You're going to see constant trends, man. So much trends, you guys will have so much stuff to look at. You're missing out on what? On so many things, so many things, so on, on Ivan and BJ's life, obviously. Because the documentary is only a glimpse of what happened behind the scenes. It'll only be maybe, I don't know, an eight-hour documentary. You're only getting a glimpse of it. You're not getting the whole thing. So it's a glimpse of what happened in the five years. So I'm sorry. It's a glimpse of it, obviously. It's a glimpse. It's a glimpse, obviously, so I'm sorry. It's a glimpse, obviously. Yeah. Hey, guys, once you guys go home, you can sleep off and jet. Once you guys go home, I want you guys to go over the whole script, all three volumes, the way you know the story, and I want you to now begin practicing your lines. It doesn't hurt, guys, to get a highlighter and go over the whole script and all the scenes that you're in highlighted with a highlighter. The script is yours. You can keep it. You can keep it. Obviously, or I might have them uh, get bring once once production happens. I want once the, the movie's over. I want I might have all the actors bring back the scripts, throw all the script, put all the scripts in the shredder. Obviously, like I do in Hollywood, right? Put all the scripts in the shredder. I don't need the script anymore. You know what I'm saying, but it doesn't hurt to highlight it. That way, you can highlight your scenes that you're in for the movie. I'm giving you a year, guys, to, to memorize all your lines. By third year, once we start the tackle training in Vancouver and the horse training, you go, everyone should have their, mind, their lines memorized. Me and Vijay will have our lines memorized by the time we sign the actors. We'll have most of our lines memorized. Because we, we, I don't know, we start memorizing the lines in like, I don't know, October, September of the first year. We practice every day. By the time we find the actors, most of our lines will be memorized. Me and Vijay, yeah, me and Vijay have most of our lines memorized already. Really, I? Yeah. We're ahead of you guys, I'm saying. 
and me and VJ will be practicing every day. Five days a week. We get weekends off, but uh, VJ, even though we get weekends off, it doesn't hurt to constantly go over some of the lines and practice a little bit. Weekends, we can slack off more. We can practice a little bit, maybe an hour and a half, and we're done. We got the whole day off to ourselves. But Monday to Friday, we are practicing lines all day, VJ. From morning to like afternoon until we sign all the guys or do the takeouts and do the parties. Because I'm only going to sign the visual effects team, the cinematographers, and the actors. Everyone else, my two servers, sign all those guys. Me and Vito will just meet up with them for the takeouts and we'll do the party. And that's it. So second year, I'm taking I'm taking off my producing hat. And I'm focusing more on my acting. I got, I got enough practice my lines. Guys, I have no time to handle the business stuff. You guys have to come into work five hours a week and do all the dirty business calls. You're 17, yeah. You have to sign the rest of crewmen. I'm not signing the rest of crewmen. Because I'm the boss, you put it to you. I'm doing slack work. You're doing all the dirty work. That's how it works. So is that right? And that's the beginning of the actor's fame. And then once what? Once post-production takes place, the movie's done, obviously. And they release the first trailer. You're going to see fans going crazy. Oh my god, John, I saw you in that trailer. Oh my god, you look so cool in that trailer. Oh my god. Ivan, I saw you in that trailer. VJ, I saw you in that trailer. You look so cool in that trailer. I hope you kick the devil's ass. I'm saying, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God, he's so scary. Oh my God. Uh, I feel so bad for you guys. Yeah, you're looking at demons, man. AI demonic beings. Yeah, that's why Zane Swap so crazy. Well, why buzz, man? Yeah. We'll blow the buzz out of Avengers out of the water. We'll blow the buzz out of Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, Star Wars out of the water, man. We're looking at worldwide buzz. Neil Toos, John Camp, Robert Ravenet, OODD, Midnight Edge. They're all going to be going crazy bonkers over my, over my fucking movie. Oh my god, did you see that fucking trailer? Oh my fucking god, I'm so hyped for this, I'm saying. I'm so hyped for that documentary. Did you see that doc? Oh my god, I'm so excited for that documentary. Yeah, the behind the scenes. Did you see that game trailer? I'm excited to watch that game, to play that game. Yeah. They got worldwide fame, yeah, man. That's why the Zayn's actors are going to beg their asses off. They're going to beg their asses off. I mean, please, I'll be your next movie, my guys. No, you're not good for the great escape. So I'm saying. It's not fair... I didn't fuck Keanu Reeves. I know. I know you don't want him. I know Keanu Reeves is already successful. But look, it's not. Just, that's not. That's not the point. The point is he wants to be saved. It's not just about you. I saved your ass for five years. Now give other actors at home an opportunity. I'm saying. That's why Zayn's will be the best story I've told in the picture, and it'll have crazy worldwide buzz. Man, you guys have no idea how much crazy buzz I'll have. News will even be a crazier Zayn's fan than even his Star Wars. He's a Star Wars nerd. Yeah. Anyways, in this video, I'm tired. I talk for good hours. I don't know, man. I'm signing up. Please, hope you guys enjoy this video.